Hey, good morning everybody. Daryl RV Adventure TV. Alright, we're getting close. A few things that I want to talk about today. RV modifications. So you have no shore power and no generator. What are you going to do to run off your household batteries to charge your uh, cell phone, your tablet, your computer, or maybe just to run a fan? Stay tuned. Alright, here it is, a beautiful day. Louisiana, just gorgeous this week. This is what everybody in Louisiana lives for this time of year. Let's talk about RV modifications. If you have no power, you're somewhere, you have nothing that you can plug uh, your rig into, or your generator dies, what you gonna do for power? Um, yeah, we got the 12 volt system here on the coach that most uh, RVs run, have a 12 volt system that runs the lights and the refrigerator and some accessories, but uh, I'm going to show you what I did here to help improve our uh, living here in Maddie. So, first thing I did is when I was in uh, Washington State last year, I got the DECA or DECA ProMaster 6 volt batteries. These are basically golf cart batteries. And I hooked those up together here and uh, give me a 12 volt system so i should have plenty of power to run uh, accessories tvs and stuff or, or a short time in there but what i've also done is <clears throat> i have this sunforce pro series 1000 watt inverter here that i'm going to use inside the coach i have come off the batteries down here run it up through and back into this so now all i have to do now is if I need power inside because all your plugins in there will not work unless they're DC plugins which I'll show you one here in a minute but everything you plug in there is not going to work unless you're hooked to a generator or have some other means to power those 120 volt outlets so I'm going to turn this on it's going to give you a readout showing you it's going to be putting out 12 volts and this is a pure Synwave uh, inverter that's going to give you good power to run all your electric needs. So what I did is I hooked the power cord here, ran through the wall, and it came up through here into a chase, and then I went right up into the bedroom. Let's go inside and take a look. Oh, and by the way, I will have another backup battery. Here's another deep cycle battery that I'll have fully charged just in case I need something to one, start the truck, or two, for additional batteries for whatever reason. I can just pick this up and move it. All right, let's go inside and see what I did. All right, so we're coming up here into the bedroom. And right behind this panel, way back in deep where the water and all the vent lines went down straight through I brought a cord up through the hole in the floorboard which is right here so now I have power up here to either plug in my TV to plug in the fan to plug in a noisemaker that some people use to drown out the noise at either a truck stop or a campground. We can use these devices up here now along with charging a cell phone or a tablet off that right there and I'll probably put a three-way on it that I can plug multiple devices on as long as I don't pull too much power or over a thousand watts. But this will get us by until we are able to either one run the generator or two uh, get the shore power so that's one option that I have up in the living room the other option that I have down here in the living quarters is Maddie 2011 Heartland Landmark came with one 12 volt plug-in 
already included in this those two 120 volts will not work unless you're plugged into either a generator an alternate power source or shore power and like a campground so don't think that you're going to be able to use those if you if uh, you don't have a power source outside on your power cord or have uh, made additional arrangements but what I'm going to use here and you can get these online is a best tech 300 watt inverter I'm just going to take this plug the cigarette lighter adapter right there into it it's got two 120 volt outlets there some of the newer ones have the USB charging ports but then I can take and plug in um, my uh, laptop, my cell phones, anything that I need to charge right from here. If I want to run my radio labs, um, Wi-Fi uh, extender and repeater system that we have in here, plug it in right there. I'm good to go. So that's what uh, we're going to do if we are out boondocking. We don't want to fire the generator up, we just want to charge a few appliances. That's what uh, Kim and I are doing here at RV Adventure TV. We hope you uh, like this video, please subscribe. Countdown's on, six days left to go. We'll be pulling out of there, hit the road. We hope you follow along with us. Catch us on Facebook at RV Adventure TV. Have a great day.